Greetings everyone. I just want to show you how if you would like to, you could add buttons to your Excel menu bar. They'll give you quick access to uh, subscript, superscript. It's not the quick access toolbar, unfortunately, but it is, I'm going to put it near the font menu, sub menu under the home tab on the top in the toolbar. So the way you do this, at least on windows, I will go to file then down to options at the bottom up will come this sub window on excel options there is a customized ribbon i'm going to click on that and the first thing it comes up is a, another kind of a somewhat cryptic sort of setup here um, it lists typical commands that you can get in this case the popular commands so it's not an exhaustive list here you can um, if you click on the little window and the little uh, pull down, uh, select other ones that are kind of organized according to the, the categories. And then, of course, all commands will show you just a huge list of things. So if for some reason you can't find what I'm about to show you here with subscript and superscript, you might have to go to another uh, route up at the top. Uh, so it happens under popular. Uh, again, I don't know if that's mine or kind of generally popular. At the very bottom of the list is one for subscript and superscript. <clears throat> On the right, you can see the main tabs that are in the menu bars that exist now. So the typical ones, home, insert, draw, page layout. You could actually come in through this, uh, this approach here to do all sorts of customization in your menu. I just want to add the subscript and the superscript to the existing menus as much as possible. So if you click on font, actually if you expand that, you can see the ones that are already in there. But if you click on that, and then I'll click on subscript. What I'd like to be able to do is add that over in the font. But if you click add, it says you can't do that. You have to create a group. Okay, so I'll keep font selected, but then I'm going to say new group. Um, then I'll click on the little pop-up, the thing that it created, new group, parentheses custom. I'm gonna say rename. And uh, you could call that whatever you want. I uh, might call it something like uh, embellish. I wanted to use embellishments, but that was a little long. It made the, the little menu a little too wide for what I'm putting in there. Um, you could pick an icon if you like. Problem is, all the ones I would have liked to have picked were already used for something, and I didn't want to kind of have a confusion there, so I, I guess I'll pick the smiley face. Uh, I don't see this show up anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but I'll, pl I'll uh, click on that, hit OK. Um, then, clicking embellish. I will take again, click subscript and then hit add. You can see it, put it populated underneath that. I'm gonna do superscript, add, and then I'll say okay. And you can see up at the top, right next to the font, put embellish. And now I have these quick buttons for subscript and superscript. You could add other things in there. And like I say, you could actually go in here and modify any of these menus you might want to do. You could add things in here, take things out that you don't use. Some of these I know I'm never going to use. Um, so you could uh, take them out if you like. I'm not going to, but that, now that you know how, you've got lots of options.